All right, you've made it to the end of the week, and this may be the end of your work year. It's not as cold out the door, but still no reason to not wear the ugly Christmas sweater. Uh, as we track the first alert forecast, temps into the upper 60s today. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burris tracking the 70s by Christmas Eve and day, but still on track for that uh, next rainmaker. And it looks like it may create some wet drives around as you're uh, doing the Christmas Day thing with family, friends, and anything else you may have planned. Keep listening to 104.5 WOKV throughout the holiday weekend for timing of weather and traffic updates. We'll keep you up to the minute on what's happening around Metro Jacksonville and Northeast Florida. A lot of storylines making news today. Certainly the holiday rush that's underway. We've got updates from Jacksonville International Airport where the uh, busy rush was underway. We saw long lines getting to the American Airlines check, uh, uh, checked bag counter, uh, but also through security and only a handful of delays early for the rush. Uh, we do anticipate uh, longer than normal lines as more people are expected to fly this year. And on the roads, a uh, big surge. Some 6.6 .6 million Floridians are traveling, according to AAA. And so far, much, much better than what we saw yesterday. That nightmare on I-95 in St. John's County, the crash near the rest area, uh, just north of County Road 210, upwards of eight to nine hours before they finally were able to clear all those lanes. We had spillover delays onto US-1, 9B, Racetrack Road, uh, Old St. Augustine, uh, just about everywhere you were trying to get from Southeast Duval and North St. John's County was gummed up during the Friday rush. We heard from multiple people who were late to work, late picking up kids from school on the last day before the winter break and also even some folks who were late trying to get to Orlando International Airport to fly out. One woman who we caught up with said she just said fooey on it and decided she's not flying home. She'll drive there. Uh, pretty uh, uh, significant delays. It's a wonder no one died in that crash. There was at least one critical injury, we're told. Clay County deputies continued their search for an armed robbery suspect. How he used grinder to lure victims evidently. That story updated at WOKV.com and throughout Jacksonville's morning news. And the man accused of a DUI crash involving a former Creekside High School star football player uh, sees his bond request denied and he remains behind bars facing some pretty serious uh, consequences for that crash that involved a uh, student who was uh, uh, coming back from uh, or for summer break earlier this year. A number of other storylines that are making news throughout 104.5 WOKV. Be listening to 104.5 and on your smart speaker, say play WOKV radio. We're live until 10 o'clock on Jacksonville's morning news and with you throughout the long holiday weekend from all of us at 104.5 WOKV. Merry Christmas and a very happy and prosperous new year.